This week's Tech Tool of the Week is Bad Copy Pro. Let's go ahead and open it up. We want to start by going to the Start menu, going to All Programs, and selecting the Bad Copy Pro Program menu, and finally the Bad Copy Pro application itself. Okay, we're in the Bad Copy Pro main window, and as you can see here on the left, these are all of the different formats you can select from to recover data. Quite a wide variety. We're going to go ahead and select the CD-ROM drive, and let's do a test recovery. And it's read my CD-ROM drive successfully. And here I'm going to select Rescue Corrupted Files, which is recovery mode number one. And all we do here is just click Next. And as you can see, it's immediately listed all the files that it can quickly see, quickly access within the CD. Down here you can see that there's several speed options to choose from when trying to recover data. I suggest just sticking with the normal speed. Now if you click Next, you're going to get an error. Now, as you can see, you actually need to select the files you want to recover. So we'll go back up here and select a few. And now let's hit Next. Alright, so it's already finished recovering. And there we have a successful message saying, yes, we've recovered all those. There's the status of the files right there. Recovered. Excellent. Here's the recover report that'll just tell you what you got. And now we can click on the Open Recovered Files folder. And there they are right there. There are the files that were recovered. Let's go back here to the home, and we'll select CD again, and let's try the second recovery mode. Now that's actually listed as mode number one, but it's actually mode number two. A little confusing. In recovery mode number two, you want to click on the scan disk button, but as you'll see right here, let's go ahead and click OK on this error message. What we need to do first is go over here on the left side where it says track number, and select the CD. And we'll go ahead and click the folder. And as you can see here, the files have shown up. And we'll go ahead and select a few and click the Recover button. It's going to give us an option to pick a folder to save it to. We'll just select the default. And yeah, let's go ahead and open the Recovered Files folder. And there are the Recovered Files once again. Let's go ahead and close this window. And now let's go ahead and select the last recovery mode which is for basically the most severe corruption. And it's just letting us know that uh, files will actually be renamed in the File 1, File 2 format under the third recovery mode. And we'll go ahead and click the Start here. And yeah, we wanted to actually do a full scan. And right here you can actually select specific file types you want it to search for or all supported file types. And there's the list right there. So we'll go ahead and just click OK. And as you can see it started to scan. Now the recovery mode number three actually scans by sectors, which means it's doing a little bit deeper of a scan and that's basically the reason why the files are renamed. Now this process can take a while, depending on how much data it's actually scanning. As you can see, I sped the process up a little bit. So once the scan's done, you get this result window that shows what files the program can actually recover. We'll go ahead and click Next here, and it's going to give us a recovery report of files that we can recover. And we'll go ahead and click Next. So Bad Copy Pro has determined what files it can recover, and now it's going to begin the actual recovery process. Now this process can take a while, again, depending on how much data you have to recover.
Once the scan is complete, it'll bring up the results window. As you can see here, the files have been renamed in the File1-File2 format. And there you have it for Bad Copy Pro.